Hey yo, baby D, get your little ass over here on the mic, man. Show these other little niggas they can't fuck with the dangerous crew, man. Spit that shit. She in a rose gold chain, gold glasses, prime time like Dion. <laughs> Hey, can't do the corn, do the Dion. You hear me? He don't speak on me, I don't compete with a peon. Fly in a bundle like my name was Dion. What's happening? I don't know, shit. Uh, I just felt like. Making a fucking review of this movie, so let's do it. So I finally got to watch all of uh, Leave the World Behind yesterday. And after watching it, my views are a little bit different than what other people's may be. Because I know what they're really afraid of, and it's not an EMP. If an EMP happens, it's because they wanted an EMP to happen to where everything gets shut off and blocked down. But what they're really afraid of is losing control of the world. That's the biggest issue that faces the world for the true people of God to wake up and realize who they are and see how they've been bamboozled. That's the biggest threat to global security. And with the uh, with the rise of, of awakening by the Israelites, which are the true people of God, these people are scared to death that when that certain number of people wake up that they need to be really afraid of, and they can't defend themselves against those amount of people, that's when their whole world is going to crumble. That's what I see in Leave the World Behind. I see everything that they may try to institute when they see that this shit is going down. See, like, it's an increase in, in intelligence and awakening on YouTube. It's an increase in awakening on Twitter. It's an increase in awakening on TikTok. All these black and Israelite people, Mexicans, uh, you know, Native Americans, all of us, we're coming together on YouTube and exposing what these people really have done to us, bruh. And that's the biggest threat to them. Let's just say you trick somebody out of their money or you stole from somebody and they never knew that you was the one that stole it. So you walk around all these days and all these hours and all these months hoping that they don't find out because you still hanging with this person every day. But you know this person that you stole this money from or whatever you stole from them is some straight up killers. They, they the real deal. They don't play. They about their business. And they got a crazy boss behind them. You know what I'm saying? So if they find out you stealing out the pot, what they going to do to you? So just imagine steady sitting up under your homeboy that you stole this shit from and hoping that they don't learn that you was the one that stole this shit from them. And then think about a friend of that person that you stole from starting to come out and expose that you stole some shit from them. Man, you know the one that stole that was right there. Hey, I seen it when you made the drop. Yeah, he came right behind you and took it. You ain't know that. And it has that person that stole from you scared to death that you finally gonna find out. So they trying to find out how they can trick the system and throw shit off to where it won't come out and their security is threatened. So when I seen that movie, all I seen was a spiral down effect of everything that these people perceive could happen and what they could do to try to trigger you from knowing. They'll cut all the, all, the, um, all the videos and security and internet features out. That mean wipe the media out completely. Because how are we being able to pass this knowledge? Everything I done learned been Dane Calloway, Sosa, on YouTube with the Indian talk, Tariq Nasheed, 
Omar finally coming out, Charleston White, OG Percy telling you stay out of prison, all the awakened people, Jay Marvelous telling you about the industry, D1 exposing them boys about rapping about that dope and stuff, because they push behind somebody, uh, they being pushed by somebody with an agenda to keep us sleep in the mind. So what's the best way to stop the transmitting of information? EMP, we wipe everything out. We can't leave Twitter up, we can't leave YouTube up, we can't leave the news on. Well, the news is controlled by them, so maybe they can leave that up. But I'm saying, that would be the first thing. And then right after that, it showed all the animals and shit coming back around. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the animals taking this shit back over. Yeah, they taking it over because everything's been wiped out. I mean, the world's been deserted, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's what that would meant. You know, things are restoring themselves back to what they used to be. You know, Erica Badu came out and told you that the, the 5G signals and the 4G signals are throwing off the honeybees. So they don't know where to fly no more because the wavelengths in the air won't let them get back to where they supposed to be, where they can use their antennas to be able to fly. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all this shit is simple if you really been doing your research and up on game about what's going on. Tesla cars wrecking and the shit. What else? It was another part that I was, uh, that I had seen on there that was a big one. Uh, oh, how that sound was being made, I think that could be like, you know how they was coming up with these damn 5G towers and shit, and we never knew what that shit meant? My perception of that 5G shit has always been that that was like a, a, a weapon that could be used later on if something ever happened. Like say it was a, a riot type of situation where everybody was rebelling. I think that 5G tower shit that be up on them antennas could be used just like that shit was being used in that movie where it made everybody grab their ears because the, the frequency of that shit was so detrimental to the body. I think that's how 5G is. It's, they say it's like a microwave type of radiation that it gives off. 5G is radiation. Those towers that have those little antennas that look like speaker boxes on them, if you look up there, I always look, when they used to put them shits up, all in Clinton on top of the water tower and shit in Mississippi, I used to look, what the fuck? This shit like a speaker. You know what I'm saying? And they say if you live by some of this shit, you'll start developing tumors in your brain and you'll start getting cancer and your body won't act the way that it's supposed to act because it's something in that 5G shit that is detrimental. It's like a microwave effect on your body, man. So. When I seen Leave the World Behind, that wasn't nothing to me, but the elites probably putting out some truth. But you gotta be able to decode it the right way. I don't see that shit for blatancy. If you know, you know what they're saying. Like, nigga, these folks is waking up. We better leave this shit behind. It's time to leave. Then with like that black woman and that, and the, uh, with the white woman and the black man dancing, and then the black girl and the white man out there sitting on the porch and shit. That was nothing but showing you how uh, how the white race isn't able to produce the way they supposed to no more. And now the 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 chain and the um, the chain of um, production is changing over. Cause you know, like uh, Dr. Francis Chris Wilson said, the biggest thing that they're afraid of is the black man eliminating them through production. Because if you get a black man and a white woman, the baby's gonna come out black. Or if you get a black woman and a, and a white uh, man, then the baby's still gonna come out black. See, our genetics dominate Caucasian genetics. And I think that's what, what they were showing you. Eventually, when these two races come together, which was being shown in the movie, how she she like necks and shit. Baby, when you grinding, I get so excited. Ooh, I try, but I can't fight it. Oh, you dancing's too close. This ain't real slow. 
You're making it hard for me. That was telling you that they was finna have sex. And you know what happens when they have sex, I just told you. That gene dominates that gene and wipes them out. That's what Francis Chris Wilson was telling you. That's why Tariq Nasheed fuck with her so much. Because he know what she was on. But he won't say it because... I don't know. But anyway, bruh. Yeah, man, that ain't shit but them showing you that they world is ending. With your ass steady talking about who you are, their world is ending. Their security is being snatched from up under them. That's why they always been so mean with you your whole life. Because they know. Like, if they're they're real fucking white supremacists, then they know who you are and what you have the potential to do to them as a race. You have the ability to completely wipe them out, bro. And they're afraid of you. They always have been afraid of you. And that's all that world is showing you, bro. We've been seeing shit like this since Get Out. Get Out told you about how they want your body and shit because your body is so much more genetically uh, durable for the world. That's why you were able to sustain for so long. Because your body is way more, you know what I'm saying, than theirs is. That's why they have to get buried like three, four days after they die. Shit, you can leave a black person out for how long? About two weeks? Three weeks or some shit? Our bodies are just made more durable. We didn't do it. It's just scientific. They got to get buried quick. They should have shriveled up, and, you know what I'm saying? So Get Out told you about the human organs uh, harvesting. Then that movie, The uh, the Hunt, it told you about how they be sex trafficking motherfuckers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker wake up knocked out somewhere, probably getting hunted. Getting hunted down. These people are sick, man. Sick people. The Hunt. H-U-N-T. You know? But yeah, that's, that's my review, man. You know, um... It's just regular shit if you know what's going on and what's to come. These people, time is over. I already told you that in another video that I did. These people, time is over. The world ain't ending. Ain't no shit finna blow up. It's just people are waking up. And now those 400 years of slavery and captivity are over. God told you in Lamentations 422. Go read Lamentations 422. It said your time of exile is over. Your debt has been paid. Now it's time for you to come back to the commandments and God and follow those commandments so you can get everything that's supposed to be yours. You're going to get your land back. You're going to get everything. And these people, uh, authority over you it's gonna be diminished. No more. That shit is over with, bro. It's over with. Whether I get to see it in my lifetime, or my kids get to reap it, or their kids. That shit is over. That's what they saying. Leave the world behind. It's over with. Done. That's why that dude, the black dude that said he was a stockbroker, um, advice person, CPA or some shit, whatever the fuck he was, wealth management, Merrill Lynch, he said the guy that he was helping called him and told him he wanted to move some money around. And he said the numbers that he was wanting to move around weren't small numbers, even for him. Like, this was big money. Like, he throwing everything. Fuck it. I want to move everything. Everything is over with. The world is done. Fuck this shit. I'm cashing out. And good luck. Take care of yourself. He said he always laughed at the end of the conversation. But this time, he didn't laugh. That ain't shit, but people trying to fucking go to the moon or, you know what I'm saying, go into their underground bunkers. Why you think they was trying to fly Teslas and shit out of here? Fucking Elon Musk trying to find a way to get off the fucking planet. Because it's over, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? It's over. It's over. It's over, bruh. That shit is dead, bro. The whole system. 
Niggas is waking up. That's it, bro. Fuck. 